Mahjong, the Chinese board game, is rumored to have been created in ancient times going all the way back to Confucius. Men and women helped it become a nationwide fad here in the USA in the 1920s, and it also became a staple of both Chinese and Jewish American women's social lives throughout the 20th century. Welcome to the Mahjong Club of Temple Shalom just outside of Stamford. Some of the women here have been playing this game for over five decades. I remember my mother played, and I want to learn how to play. I was a young married woman, and it was a chance for me to get out at night, and my husband would take care of the children. I was home with the three kids, and the neighbors who played with me would always come to my place. People would come over, there would always be snacks out, and of course when you were asking about the fifth person, the better, that's the person who got to eat. <laughs> Mahjong can seem mysterious to the uninitiated. It's played with tiles that represent the Chinese pay and cultural systems. We have bams, cracks, dots, east and west. Okay, so this is going to take a while to learn. It takes a while to get used to the tiles and to the hands and just the, the rhythm of the game. Most players liken Mahjong to gin rummy. Almost all use the cards with winning combinations printed each March by the National Mahjong League that standardize the rules. I'm here. Anne's going to be my coach. They're going to try to teach me about this game. What are we doing now? Build a wall. Building a wall. 19, build a wall 19 tiles, top 19 and bottom. Tiles. Two rows. Right. Pick uh, two stacks. Pick two stacks. Mm -hmm. OK. Is, is this a good hand, Ann, or, or, so or not cool. so far? All right. <laughs> We've got so something. All right, now you have to make a decision. So mm. I think what we're going to do is this one here. Mm -hmm. You don't need this, mm -hmm. and you don't need any of those. So you All can right. pass two of those. One bam. Even with Ann's attention and expert advice, it takes a good while for me to begin to even try to understand what we're looking for. One crack. One crack. Tiles of the same suit or match. Eight crack. See you next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, trash talk going on here at this game. Bone crack. Yes. Five dot. Mm -hmm. Two crack. Uh, one bam. Mahjong. Uh, <laughs> Do I understand it a little better now than Definitely. I did before? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy to see why these ladies get together for two hours every Monday. It's as much fun as the people you're playing with. Even if they don't agree on how the game of Mahjong is won. I would say it's about 75% um, luck and maybe 50-50, maybe because you can have the tiles, but you have to know how to arrange them. How you get the tiles and how they come. So okay. that's luck. Seventy-five percent is by skill, and after that, it's luck. <clears throat> no, no. One thing is unanimous: mahjong has had a resurgence among women, similar to that of poker for men. And these ladies will be playing for a very long time to come. With your Inside Out report, I'm Eric Clements. <laughs>